thumb rule for now we will go with thumb rule what is thumb rule the much shortcut method so as i have told you that as i have told you that this is very very important with respect to interview point of view okay so whenever you are going for any kind of interview and they are asking you this type of questions so it will be very difficult for you to understand and it will take time for you to substitute all these things okay almost like five to 10 minutes it will take for you and generally we as genius people no one will carry the scientific calculator also for the interview to be frank okay so for that reason okay we are going with shortcut method also to overcome all those things okay so thumb rule in the sense shortcut the other name of thumb rule nothing but shortcut method for calculation of current and this is only for cracking the interview not for the real time almost 99% you will get the same answer okay so like whenever you are calculating for the secondary side or the low tension side or the star side or output side of transformer actually the output side as with as for the transformer we are having two sides one is the input side one is the output side so the output side can also be called a star side or the low tension side or the secondary side it depends upon your understanding whatever you want you can call okay so whenever you want to convert the value in terms of current okay so this is a multiplying factor like 1.74 multiply with respect to the load you will get the value in current whenever it is three phase nothing but more than 5 kilowatt if you ask me a question but for 6 kilowatt what is the amount of current so 6 into 1.74 you will get the current value okay he asked you something like 2 kilowatts 2 into 5.43 is nothing but the current value because 2 kilowatt comes with respect to single phase again in the same case for the kva also so whatever the load is there more than 25 kva multiply with 1.3 then you will get the answer okay again 4.32 you will get the answer so it is less than 25 kva again for kvr we don't have any kind of uh, single phase directly for the three phase whatever the load he asked you multiply with 2.32 you will get the answer when when he asked you the question about the input set of transformer with respect to input set of transformer like for the delta side or high tension side or primary side the input set of transformer can also be called as delta side or the high tension side or the primary side everything is same okay so nothing but multiply the load for example if your transformer is something like 500 kva and if the point of supply is 11 kV, means at the input side you are giving this much amount of voltage okay multiply with 0.052 for example when the input side voltage is something like 33 kV okay multiply the transformer side with respect to 0.0174 you will get the current value i'll take a simple example over here you can understand here like conversion of kilowatt to ampere for the output side of transformer nothing but low tension side for example the question is 3000 kilowatts so 3000 kilowatt nothing but more than 5 kilowatts so directly you have to multiply with 1.74 you will get the answer you can cross verify by means of p equal to root 3 by cos 5 formula also you will get the same answer for single phase it is 0.5 kilowatt nothing but 500 watts Okay, so nothing but single phase system. So multiply with 5.43. Whatever the load he asked you for the single phase, multiply with respect to 5.43, you will get the answer. Again, for the KVA value, like 125 KVA, nothing but more than 25 KVA, so three phase. To 1.39, nothing but 125 is the load if he asked you. Multiply with 1.39, you will get the current value. Again, for example, 10 KVA, nothing but less than 25 KVA, so single phase. Okay, by mistake I have written a three phase. It's a single phase value. Just rectify this in your hard work. Okay, it's a typing mistake from my side. So 10 into 4.32 will get 43.2. Again for KVR, for example, you ask to 5 kV, 5 into 2.32 will get the current value. Okay. In the same case for the high tension side, okay, like for the 11 kV is a point of supply, and if the transformer side is something like 500 kV, so multiply with respect to 0.052, you will get the current value. Again for the 33 kV point of supply, minimum it is there, and if the transformer side is something like 630 kV, multiply with 0.074, you will get the current value in this way. okay so with respect to this topic okay we can conclude that okay we can able to find out how to calculate the current value again from the current value how to find out the load value in terms of active power with respect to apparent power also and along with this we have seen the concept of shortcut also and remember that if you are perfect and clear with respect to this topic then in the future this will be very very helpful for you